I know, I know. It looks like I'm out in some Blair Witch Forest or something, huh? So, uh, rest in peace, Jimmy Bain. You know, I've, uh, I don't know if it's what it is nowadays, man. It seems like uh, a lot of the guys, you know, when I was a teenager, you know, and growing up in, in uh, the 80s with that music, like a lot of the guys, you know, that were in those bands, actually a lot from the 70s as well, but like we're losing them, man, like left and right. But the age just seems like too young with all these people. I've lost count. I've been trying to keep up with the, you know, throwing some videos up and, and uh, sending out my condolences and stuff, which I do. You know, it's uh, it just seems like, you know, we're losing people at 68, 67 years old, like these musicians that were famous. So, uh, you know, Dio was a big influence. I remember when Vivian Campbell, first time I heard him, it was uh, a show called The Rock Palace. It was a concert, you know, and they said this young guitar player, I think, was he from Sweden? I think, but Vivian Campbell just tore it up. And I was, you know, I started a band with Craig Goldie who, you know, replaced Vivian Campbell later on, you know. Um, I've never met Jimmy Bain. But, um, you know, just kind of speechless at, at the musicians in these famous bands that are dying and, and it's all at the same age. You know, they used to say it goes in threes. And it's like, what are we up to seven now? You know, within the past, like, six weeks. It's insanity, man. So, um, I was definitely influenced by, by Dio's music, Rainbow's music, you know, Richie Blackmore and, and uh, Vivian Campbell. And, um, you know, Jimmy Bain was, was the backbeat behind those bands, you know. So, uh, but anyways, if you want to share your thoughts down below, I'm going to sign off here. And uh, we'll talk to you guys later. Be sure to subscribe. See ya.